you're asked to go ahead and find the limit as h approaches 0 of your average rate of change of our previous problem that we had right here. Now, if you're just doing the average rate of change, that's what we would have right here is a fraction. And then we're asked to do the limit. Now, if you've already simplified the fraction down, we'll get to that in just a bit. So we do our average rate of change here. We get rid of the parentheses. We get this here. We Our fours cancel out these fours. So we're just left with a 4h plus h squared over h. We can't plug in 0 because we'd still get 0 over 0. But we can take an h out of everything. And then we get this here. Now at this point, since we're no longer dividing by h, which would be dividing by 0, we can actually plug in 0 for h. And 0 plus 4 is 4. So what does this represent in the context of our problem? Well, the slope of your tangent line is what we're looking at here. If you're looking at just your average rate of change, that's the slope between two points, the slope of your secant line. But when you look that, or take the distance between those two points and have that distance go to 0, and that's what we're talking about with the, our limit as h approaches 0, whenever the distance between the two points goes to 0, that tells us the slope of our tangent line to our curve at x equals 2. In other words, at x equals 2 on this curve, our slope is 4. When we look at this limit, we're not dividing by h here, so we can just plug in 0. 2 times x plus 0 is 2x. So then it says, what is the significance of this limit in terms of our original function? Well, if you thought about going ahead and doing your instantaneous rate of change, the slope of your tangent line, to your original problem here, Get rid of your parentheses. You'd have to FOIL this out, distribute through the negative. Collect your like terms. Your h's drop, and we get this. This limit right here is exactly what we were dealing with here. So in other words, our limit here, which we got 2x, is really the slope of our tangent line anywhere along this curve. It's our slope predictor function. So if I want to know my slope along this curve at x equals 0, if I wanted to know my slope on this curve at x equals 0, I take 0, plug it in here, I get 0. If I wanted to know my slope right here on this curve at x equals 5, I take 5, plug it in, 2 times 5, and I will get 10. So this is our slope predictor function, which is the slope of our tangent line. We now want to know the slope of our tangent line at x equals 2. So all we have to do is take 2 and plug it into our slope predictor function here. 2 times x being 2, and we get 4. Now we've got to take our negative 1 and plug it into our slope predictor function. And 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. And then we've got to take 0 and plug it in. So in other words, the slope at 0 on this function is 0. So if we wanted to know our slope at x equals 1 on this curve, we would have a slope of negative 2.